Look at that. Look at that beauty. Orange trolling fly. You can't beat it. That was a trolling fly at like two feet. He hit it once and he came back and he hit it again. Look at those big beautiful rainbows. That's what trolling flies can do. You think trolling flies don't work? Well, think again. You need to grab a set of my trolling flies, get out on the water, and get ready to go big. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Hey folks, Kel Kellogg here. Um, I've spent a lot of time, you know, over the past couple years, thinking about how to make my approach more efficient and how to be better prepared for when I hit the water to maximize the amount of time that I have baits and lures in the water. The longer, the more amount of time you have your bait or lure in the water, the more fish you're gonna catch and the more big fish you're gonna catch. And that's doubly true if you're fishing out of a small boat or a kayak. When I'm out in my kayak, I need to be ready. I need to have my gear rigged and ready to go. I need to have a plan. I need to be ready to fish. And when it comes time to change baits, change lures, change techniques, I need to make those changes quickly. I need to get my gear back in the water as quickly as I can and get back underway. Better yet, I need to be able to change the leader or the lure or the setup on one rod without even stopping pedaling. So let me show you some of the hacks that I use to make things more efficient. I spent a lot of time the last few days getting my trout gear ready. I'm getting ready to go on some trips. I want to be ready to fish. Now right here, I've got a piece of a, a foam pool floaty. These are extremely important to my approach to fishing right now because they make tackle storage so easy. They're super cheap. You can get them at Target, Walmart, Kmart, wherever. You know, they're the foam pool floaties that kids have. They take them in the pool. It helps you float. Well, they're closed cell foam. You can cut them into any shape. Super cheap. You can store hooks and leaders and all kinds of things with them. So let's take a look at my tackle boxes and uh, hopefully you could you could take some of these tricks that I've been using to make your setup more efficient. So first of all, let me grab my rigging box right here. This is the box that I keep in my pack where I keep all my spare, you know, terminal tackle supplies. Let me open it up without kind of pouring it out on the ground here and we'll see how I've utilized some of that, that foam pool stuff. So kind of hold it up here hopefully you can see it I got a lot of weights in there I've got stuff like you know I got bullet weights and uh, I've got some regular sinkers and stuff like that but I have a whole bunch of hooks and what I've done with my hooks rather than just having them set in the compartment you know loose all tangled up I've just cut little pieces of that pool foam and I've inserted the hooks in it there's some of my slow death hooks Here's some standard straight shank light wire hooks um, over here. I've got some of my larger trebles right there. On this one, smaller trebles right there. Uh, moving on down, if I want to stop and fish bait, I've got small octopus hooks there, larger hooks there. Um, and then I've got some hooks here that I would use for, uh, for rigging up grub trolling leaders and stuff like that. By hooking the hooks in the foam, I can I can just take a glance and see one if I'm getting low on hooks, and two they're not all tangled up. I'm not going to have to dig through and pull out a big glob of hooks, sort them out, and figure out you know what I need or what I want stuff like that. Having those hooks in that foam just makes things nice and simple. Having said that, going to this box is actually a last resort. This box is is usually tucked away in the bottom of my backpack which is behind my kayak seat back there with Lucy. And uh, I try not to get into that very much. Here's where I keep most of my stuff, right here. This is my right hand, or actually it's my left hand box, but this is actually a Home Depot, just one of those like screw and nail boxes. Well, I've converted it into a tackle box. It's double sided, drilled a hole in it. I put a tether on it. Everything in the kayak needs a tether or you're gonna lose something. But anyway, this sits right aside of me and this is how I make really quick changes when I'm out on the water. So here's what I got here. I got a couple of those, those foam pool floaty things right here. This one, this one has one liter right here rigged up for grub trolling and it has six or seven liters rigged up for rolling night crawlers and gulp minnows. Those are all slow death hooks. They're all pre-tied. They're all ready to go. They're all pre-tied on 12-pound test um, Yozuri fluorocarbon, and uh, I left them all long. They're all about 60 inches long. 
So if I want to run one behind a dodger, I'll cut it down to like 14 inches. If I want to run a naked worm, I'll cut it down to about 48 inches. If I want to run it behind flashers, I'll cut it back to maybe 18 inches. But they're all tied, they're all palomared on there, and they are ready to go. So if I want to put on a worm, grab one of those, unfurl it, hook it on whatever kind of blade I'm going to use or hook it on a, you know, a trolling swivel, depending on what I'm going to do, I'm ready to go. Super efficient, don't have to dig for a hook, don't have to find the leader material, none of that. I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, likewise, right here, if I'm spoon trolling, I've got several spoon trolling leaders and plug trolling leaders ready to go. Those are also 12 pound test Yozuri. They've got those little cross lock snaps that I favor on there. They're all wrapped into that, that piece of pool floaty. I've cut it to size, it fits right there into my tackle box. Very efficient, grab that, pull off a leader. If I've been using a leader and it gets frayed, I just cut off the snap, throw it in the box, grab a new leader, you know, that fast, I'm back in the water, I'm fishing. Now, one of my pet peeves used to be my spoons would be all tangled up. And uh, I don't have that problem anymore. And I've shown this before on the channel. What I do, you can see all my spoons right there, or at least a lot of my spoons. Let's see, here's some Speedy Shiners. This is a good example. I've got those hooked into a piece of the foam pool floaty. They're not all tangled up. If I want to use a Speedy Shiner, I just grab this, I look through them. What do I want? Do I want an orange one, copper one, fire tiger, you know, bleeding frog? They're all right there, right at my disposal. Same thing over here with my Dick Knights. All my Dick Knights are right there. They're well displayed. I can get a copper one, a brass one, whatever I want, a red butt one. They're all right there. They're not tangled up. I can grab one. I can change spoons really quickly. And uh, it's just a super efficient way of keeping my spoons organized, untangled. They lay right into the tackle box just like that. Lickety split. I can change spoons. I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, Let's kind of finish up looking at what I keep in the top of my backpack. That's where I keep my flies, my trolling flies, and that's also where I keep my leader material. Let me show you the leader material first. Now I've got several spools of leader material down inside of my backpack, but this is the spool I have up top. This is an old spool I took. I filled it up with the Yozuri 12 pound top knot fluorocarbon. And uh, let me hold it up close to the camera. It's just a Ziploc bag but I've cut the end out of it. You can see the line protruding right there. I've actually put some scotch tape around there to kind of hold that in because I, I don't want that spool being able to move a whole lot and I can just pull out as much line as I want, but the, the Ziploc bag and the tape on there, giving a little pressure, it controls that line. You know, if I just put it in there, you know, I'll reach in there, there'll be a big wad of line because it's been spinning around in there. I'm gonna lose line. It just It's just a mess. So. That's how I keep my main spool of, of leader material. I like the size of that spool. That's an old spool for, from some eight pound uh, vanish fluorocarbon, but uh, I rewrap it myself with the 12 pound that I like to use and I just keep it right up here in the top of my backpack, just like that. Now my trolling flies, and I love to troll flies. My trolling flies, I keep them all pre-rigged. They're rigged, they're ready to go. I keep them on various types of foam. This is actually a uh, this is a knee pad from Carhartt pants. It came from Bare Bones Workwear. You're supposed to slide it down into the knee pockets on your pants. When my wife got it for me for Christmas, I got big giant knee pads in my garage. I didn't need knee pads in my pants, but I was like, man, that's that that closed cell foam. That's pretty cool. So what I made is a leader holder. These leaders are all 48 inches long. They've got swivels, they've got wiggle discs. I have a variety of different kinds of flies on there. So when I want to change flies, it's as simple as pulling one off, putting another one back on, and I'm ready to, ready to roll. So that's one card of flies there. Um, here's another card of flies here. I'm actually playing with the, I had the foam on here. I'm actually playing with this fly right here. Look at that big old, that's a big old salmon fly there. So I figure that thing looks like a kokanee. That's going to be a trophy fly for me. But anyway, I've got that on there. I've got some flies on the back, but I've got them rigged the same way. I've got the uh, the wiggle disc ready to roll. Everything's ready. Just change it a fly. Just snap one on, snap one off. There's some more here. There's some more here. 
and I just keep all of them here in one of these big old one gallon Ziploc bags and uh, that way I'm ready to fish. I've got all the colors pre-rigged. If I get a tore up leader, if I snap a fly off, I just grab a new one, put it on the end of the line and I'm fishing. Bottom line is maximum efficiency. Think about where you're going and make sure you've got your gear rigged up and ready. The more time you've got one of these flies in the water, the more and bigger trout you're going to catch. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. Hopefully I've given you a few things to think about. Pre-trip preparation is key. It's key to efficiency and efficiency is key to catching fish. Anyhow, or at least maximizing the amount of fish you're catching. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm out of here. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. You have a great day. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you're looking for trout tackle, including my signature series trolling flies, go on over to the Fish Hunt Shoot Production store and uh, we will hook you up with some top-notch gear at a really fair price. It's the stuff I use. You see me using it on the channel. It flat-out fishes. Have a great day. I'm Cal Kellogg.